Brought to you by Sprite. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson along with Shaquille O'Neal on 2K Sports, and the NBA season is about to begin. In this game, we'll see the Chicago Bulls against the Cleveland Cavaliers. And for Cleveland, finally they get to see if the moves made in the offseason and the preparations of the preseason will pay off with a win here in game number one. You know a guy who's really improved, especially on the rebounding side, is Tristan Thompson. What do you think? Well, he can bang inside. He can move his feet on the wing. and He can play with that high motor, Ernie. Uh, he he did what? He can play with a high motor. I, I want to see that again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that like a motorcycle or something? No, that's the lawnmower. Wow, what kind of lawnmower do you have? The thing with the, the with the thing on the end. <laughs> you, you may, may need to <laughs> the take weed that whacker. thing in and have it. <laughs> may need to get that thing tuned up. Uh, let's go to Kevin Harlan. Weed whacker. I love that. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Let's meet your Chicago Bulls. Starting at small forward, at 6 foot 9 inches, number 34, Mike Dunley. At guard, 6 7 from Marquette, number 21, Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. Forward at seven point zero inches, number sixteen, Al Gasol. The man in the middle from Florida, number thirteen, Jokey Noah. And it goes. From Memphis, number one, Derek Rose. Derek Rose. The head coach for your home team is Tom Thibodeau. This is it. Opening day. The regular season is set to begin, and we're thrilled to bring you all the live action right here on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan with my broadcast partners, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. Man, can you feel the excitement in the air? We've got an Eastern Conference battle ready to get rolling, and the Chicago crowd wants some love from their Bulls. Here, matched up against Cleveland is how they'll kick off the new season. In a season ago, Clark, they won the matchup, winning three and losing just one. And looking back to last year, they won this season series, as you'd probably expect. Look at Cleveland's starting group. Irving and Waiters, the guards. The two stars, LeBron and Love, at the three and the four. And it's Verizhao in at the five. Rome in the paint. Rose, good! Nice way for him to get started here early. And guys, hopefully a sign of things to come from him here. To touch again on Steve's comment, last year they were a playoff team facing a team that went home at the end of the regular season, and Clark, they, they took advantage. Yeah, that to me is what makes a playoff team, Kevin. I mean, beating the teams you should beat and then not having any significant letdown. Down to five on the shot clock. Irving attacking, and the layup falls. And the layup just gift-wrapped right there. I mean, he had a clear path to the basket. Cleveland on defense. Just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Ben Levy's shot is off. And here's Cleveland. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Cam, I caught up with Coach David Black. He said that their defensive focus, no surprise, will be trying to keep Derrick Rose out of the lane. He added, you know he's come a long way as an outside shooter, but he's a pick-your-poison type of player. We can't let him get into the paint. Makes sense, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. 
Well, it's funny, Clark. Some people thought that Joe Kim Noah was considered a bust when drafted by Chicago. Very premature assessment of that young man. I tell you, you talk about having the E-Pro for those who felt that mm -hmm. way. I'm a two-time NCAA champion. Noah has now rightly become revered as the heartbeat of this scrappy Bulls team, an all-NBA, an all-star, and also an all-NBA defensive player as well. Now here's LeBron, goes to the fadeaway and cans it. LeBron's got his first basket of the night. Bulls have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Rose goes in. Left side, Rose. Butler dishes to Noah, stolen by Berejah. And that one's good, Irving. Irving's got his second bucket of the night. Well, Noah has that boisterous, playful personality. I think his quirks maybe threw people off early on, but he's a wonderful teammate. He's unselfish, and I think more than anything, you know, his, his unguarded personality has sort of helped him connect with his teammates. Offensive rebound, Gasol. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Gasol's got his first points of the game. For Cleveland, they've gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Now James. Outside Irving. And Love with the basket on the assist by Irving. And for Noah, who is really gregarious and outgoing off the court, but you get in between those lines, and his intense competitiveness becomes apparent. I mean, he's locked in in all business. Fierce, fierce competitor, laser focused on winning, and uh, he's not worried about making a few enemies in the process. Here's Irving, following the score by Derrick Rose. Irving drives in, banked in off the glass. Irving's got six points. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, but neither team really able to jump ahead. They're five times already the lead has changed. Here's Dunleavy looking for his first basket still in this one. Well, something of a bounce back season for Pau Gasol in 2013-14. Steve, with, with better health and a return to playing in the middle more often. Yeah, you know, he dealt with a few nagging injuries, Kevin, but uh, scored better, rebounded better. Uh, nice to see him you know, show that he's really still an elite big after struggling a couple seasons ago. And for Powell, with an expiring contract, trade rumors swirled all season long. That's nothing new for him. He'd been hearing them for years. Thompson, he's checked in for Anderson Verizon. Now here's Love. LeBron outside. And he gets the bucket. LeBron's got his second basket of the game. Oh, man, he goes old school on us with the finger roll. Chicago trailing here. And Powell last season making $20 million a year. Hard for the Lakers to trade him when they wanted cap space. In the end, he found a new home and a new start in free agency. Now here's Rose. Five points in the game. Irving with it. Goes up the baseline. And the shot is long. Well, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure he was going to knock that down. Gasol inside. It's up against Thompson. Off target with the jump hook. For Cleveland, they've gotten six or seven shots to fall in the first quarter. They're off and running. Irving passes to LeBron. The feed to Waiters. LeBron sets the screen for Waiters. Six to shoot. There's the dish to Love. The shot is off. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. Rose against Irving. Rose, that's good. Rose has got seven. 54 seconds left in the first quarter. Thompson, a screen on Rose. Irving kicks to Love. Here's the pass to Waiters. Six to shoot. Takes the 13-footer. Goes back up. And it's Love laying it in. And they're beginning to fall apart a little bit defensively, especially inside. Well, that's four straight buckets now at the rim. 
Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Rose attacking. Rejected by Irving. But they'll get another chance. Pass to Rose. Fires the three. And he gets it to go. He's got ten. You know, it seems like when they've gone to him, he's really come through. And that's not something they should get away from. James outside. LeBron left side. Cam's the 12 footer. LeBron's got six. And these two teams continuing to trade blows like heavyweights in the middle of the ring. So many times tonight, the energy in this building has gone from one way to the other. So far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter up and going. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. Well, I like the fact they've already been getting a lot of high-quality shots in the paint. And I think another key will be, can they continue to knock down that mid-range shot? They've been very good here early. The Cavaliers leading. And you look at the Bulls, a bit of a different look for them. Trading away Dang. They am Misty Carlos Boozer. It seems they're shuffling the deck. No question about it. They bring in the Spanish League MVP and Nikola Mirotic. They've had some good draft choices as well, so a lot of new bodies for the Bulls. On the floor for Cleveland, getting going here in the second. Thompson and Verizia at the four and five. Matthew Delavidova is out there with Mike Miller, and it's Marion in at the three, the small forward. Tony Snell's checked in for Chicago. And for the Bulls, you have to remember that Derrick Rose is still in his mid-20s, so with his injuries pushing back with the timetable slightly and a new luxury tax structure, it's more punitive than ever. The Bulls opted to go a little younger and control their costs. Here's Miller. He dishes it to Della Vidova. Marion, a screen on Heinrich. Here's Della Vidova. Chicago grabs the miss. And guys, you know it. The Bulls are a financially conservative team. And probably the most reluctant among big market teams to pay the luxury tax. So they're trying to win and turn a profit. And until they're in legitimate position to win a title, you can't fault them for that. And, uh, one phrase, it's called managing the business. And here's Miller following the three-pointer by Doug McDermott. Verizhao with a screen on Heinrich. Here's Della Vidova. The rebound by Noah. Yeah, no excuses there. Got a really good look at the basket after being freed up by the pick. We say it all the time. The execution was excellent. The result not as good, but good ball movement anyway. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? Well, Kevin, Bulls coach Tom Thibodeau worked with Clippers coach Doc Rivers in Boston for many years, and they remain close friends, often sharing notes. Rivers said of Thibodeau, he's the best mind I've ever been around. People keep expecting them to fall, but he holds them together. It's his system, but it's more just his way. He simply doesn't relent, Kevin. He makes his players believe, Doris, that's something they both share in common. Thank you. The Bulls leading by five. Coach is liking Clark what he's seeing from his offense. And two, why wouldn't he? I mean, guys, they're filling it up with ease, executing, getting quality shots. I mean, this is fun to watch. Yeah, this is like a clinic out there, guys. This is exactly how you attack a defense. Move the ball, sharp cuts, and really a nice pace to their offense. Go Kim Noah, last season's defensive player of the year. And for the Bulls, it really seemed like their defense and their offense revolved around Noah. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Cavaliers. And Joakim Noah, as you said, the defensive player of the year and the assist leader for the Bulls last season playing the center position. And that's why he deserved consideration for a spot on MVP ballots. The Bulls without Rose, they lost Ding. And yet they still continue to win. I thought Noah's play and his inspiration and, and his desire played a big role in that. 
Here's Dillon it over. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Thompson with the bucket. Assistant. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Yes, Kevin, during that last break, I heard David Blatt as he addressed his team. He wants to see renewed effort from them on the offensive glass. He talked about the second chance points that are out there if they work for them. He also talked about creating good looks on the perimeter, saying we can hurt them from the outside. That should be a focus. So, Kevin, change is already being made on the fly here in the second quarter. Always great to hear from you, Doris. Here's Della Vidova. After the basket by Nikola Miritich, Della Vidova kicks to Miller. The shot is off. And it's Chicago the other way. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. McDermott dishes to Snell. And the Bulls, another three. Wow, what an incredible run they're on. This is as good an offense as you will see. Well, every single guy on the floor right now just feeling it. Now, here's Thompson. Miller outside. Off the left rim and out. For a team that is built around explosive shooters and natural scores, the Cavs had a lot of issues being efficient on offense last season. McDermott kicks to Snell. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. And it's a 12-point Chicago lead. Boy, and they're often scorching now. Red hot. They've really turned it on. I don't think they can play any better, guys. I mean, they are just making it look easy out there. Here's Della Vidova. Looking for his first basket still in this one. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. With Cleveland last year, they were bottom five in the league in scoring efficiency. Granted, some of that had to do with the injuries they faced, but still, they've got to improve there. And Cleveland making a change here. Kevin Love's checked in for Parajat. LeBron comes in for Thompson. Deion Waiters checked in for Miller. And Kyrie Irving subbed in for Matthew Delavid over. That's just run of the mill for him. A typical day at the office. He's one of the more skilled offensive players out there. Here's Chicago. They're on a 16-4 run right now. For Cleveland, the major addition is LeBron. You saw what he can do for any offense with the way that he played. Well, he was really the center of that heat offense in terms of its efficiency. And it'll be the same in Cleveland as he gets more accustomed to playing with the guys on that roster and they get accustomed to him. There will be no more bottom-of-the-barrel finishes for them in the offensive categories, that's for sure. The Cavaliers trail by 12. Irving sets a screen for James. To the middle. And it's Marion. That time on the assist by James. The number of points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening, Steve. No, it's off the charts. It really is. And defensively, I mean, they have to start shutting down some of those lanes to the hoop. Now here's McDermott. Out of bounds. Cleveland takes possession. So for the Bulls, Al Gasol has checked in for Miritich. Butler comes in for Tony Snell. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Kirk Heinrich. Irving passes to LeBron. Feeds to Love. The drive by James. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. The Cavaliers shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And the first one drops. So he gets them both. Yeah, they're getting to the line an awful lot in this quarter, and it's not an accident. They've been very aggressive. Yeah, it's been very intentional. I mean, they've picked up the aggression, and it could get them out of this hole. Here's Rose. He's got 10. Gibson the screen. Here's McDermott. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. And it's nine points for Doug McDermott. Well, there you go. If you're going to continue to give up open jump shots, uh, you're not going to get back into this game. And so that's the end of the first half. Rolls out front, up by 10. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? 
Kevin, I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. And, Tom, the team did a good job limiting turnovers in that second quarter. Was that the key improvement to finishing off the first half to a positive note? Well, that's a big part of it. We're turning it over. We're giving them easy scoring opportunities, and they're getting a lot of confidence. Now, uh, making the simple pass, hitting the first open man, and it allows us to get our defense set going back. Coach, thank you so much. Over to you guys. Thank you, Doris. And, folks, don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here for the start of the second half in the third quarter. second half about to start up and begin any moment. But the Cavaliers, they've really struggled against Derrick Rose. Ten points, and he's got two baskets from out in three-point land. I'm sure they'd like to get him a few more of those, so look for them to run some screens for him, try to pop him open. The Cavs tried to make a push for the playoff last season in a way going against the grain, but instead a disappointing season when it was all over. Coach and front office questioning the team's effort level. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. So the Bulls five right now. D. Rose and Jimmy Butler at the back. Inside at the four and five are Gasol and Noah. And it's Dunleavy in at the small forward. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, Doris. Yes, Kevin, LeBron James joining a younger team with the Cleveland Cavaliers. He said, we're not ready right now. It will be a long process. My goal is still to win as many titles as possible, but what's most important for me is bringing one trophy back to Northeast Ohio. Our city hasn't had that feeling in a long, long time. Kevin, what a worthy goal. Cleveland's last pro championship back in 1964. Yes, thanks. Well, the Cavs did make some big changes from last season, and they shouldn't have a problem staying motivated, putting in the effort this year. Well, you know, Kevin, last year they were a very young group and didn't have the vet presence they might have needed. With LeBron coming in, they've got brilliance in every category, leadership and play. He's got the clout of his championship rings. The whole mindset of the team is about to go to a very different and high level. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Boy, that pass was in the air a long time. Long enough for him to get a finger on it anyway and send it out of bounds. That's good. Rose has got the lead up to 12 now for the Bulls. Another good pass, and their offensive execution has been impressive, to say the least. The last four field goals have been assisted. Yeah, passing has kept the defense off balance, but to get assist, you got to make the shots. Timeout called the Cavaliers. Derrick Rose, the 2011 MVP, but major injuries to his knees have cost him most of the last two seasons. Only time will tell if he's able to reclaim that elite status in the NBA. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Love kicks to Waiters. He feeds it to LeBron. There is Zhao with a screen on Buck. Four on the shot clock. Shots good by Waiters. And you recall Derrick Rose had some knee issues at Memphis as well. Yeah, nothing nearly as serious as what he's encountered recently. But hey, he's only 26. Even if he doesn't win another MVP, I think he's still got a good chance to be an impact player, a high-level impact player, even an all-star going forward. This all. Noah dishes to Butler. The tray. Rose can't hit. Tell you what, shooting 20% to start the second half doesn't bode well for how this will play out for this squad. Love with the screen for Irving. Not that one. The Bulls' lead has been cut down now to just seven on the bucket from LeBron. I'll tell you what, he's enjoyed a very good day shooting the ball so far. He can bring them right back into this. Now here's Rose. 12 points for him. 
The kick outside to Butler. Back to Rose. Here's Dunleavy, covered by LeBron, and that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Kevin Love. Two seconds. Tristan Thompson. Knocked loose, stolen by Verizon. By himself. And LeBron throws it down hard. Forget about going for the long-range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop, my friend. Oh, take it to the hoop. And how, Clark, brilliant throwdown. <laughs> yeah, just exerting his authority out there. Chicago leading by five. Outside Rose. Outside Butler. Back to Rose. Inside to Gasol. Down to five on the shot clock. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Miller's checked in for Cleveland. Now Chicago has gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. And often you can learn more about a team when they are unhealthy versus when they're at full strength. And last year, I thought the Bulls shows they are not and have never been a one-man show. It's all about everybody contributing to them. As you said, with the Bulls, there was a tendency to think that they were just Derrick Rose and four others. But top to bottom, this team has guys that can play. Noah, no good on the free throw. With Rose out last year, Clark, as you said, the guys who are mostly role players show what they can do. Well, they're really unselfish at both ends of the floor, and that shows. I mean, they give great effort, they trust each other, they play together, and they always play hard, and they finish games strong, which I think is a credit to them and the coaching staff. That's good. 14 points for Rose. And here's Irving. Eight points for him. Passes it to Waiters. He kicks to Thompson. Stolen by Noah. Pass to Dunleavy. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got four rebounds in this game. Irving kicks to Miller. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Irving passes to James. Six to shoot. Steps back and fires. That one off the back iron and out. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. And it's Rose penetrating and a missed late. That's kind of a shocker. The defense was there, but it wasn't right in his face. Damn, and out of character for him to miss those. 59 seconds left in the third quarter. Cavaliers Timeout called the Cavaliers. They kind of like what Derrick Rose has done in this game. He just continues to light them up. They're going to have to find a way to make him work harder for his point. So for the Bulls, Taj Gibson's checked in for Gasol. McDermott comes in for Mike Dunleavy. And it's Heinrich in for Butler. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Sean Marion is checked in for waiters. Here's Thompson right through the D for the layup.